Hey guys, and welcome back to the Superman Collector's Vlog. Now look, I know it's been a while since I've recorded my last video. We've been busy, um, but that does not mean I have slowed down at all in the world of Superman collecting. And today, I'm making a video that I am very excited to share with you because we are going through my favorite action figure line ever, and that is the 1980s Kenner Toys Super Powers action figure line. Couple reasons why this uh, is super near and dear to my heart. Number one, Kinder Toys was located in Cincinnati, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from where I live here in the Dayton, Ohio area. Um, but number two is I think it was truly one of the, the best and earliest Superman action figures. There's all kinds of cool Superman merchandise. Um, and of course, I'm not just a superpowers collector, so my collection does not include every figure, every vehicle, but it includes all of the Superman-specific ones. And that is what I'm looking forward to sharing with you today. Make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video where I show you my best superpowers piece. Being one of the most popular DC characters, Superman was, of course, one of the first release figures for the Superpowers line. Because of that, most of the oddball merchandise features Superman on the box, the packaging art, and the toy itself, which means there's lots to collect. The Superpowers Hall of Justice playset is one of my favorite Superman playsets of all time because, as I mentioned, I'm from the Dayton, Ohio area, but I also spent time growing up in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. Well, this building right here, the Superpowers Hall of Justice, is designed after the Cincinnati Museum Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. So, it's an old train terminal that they converted into several museums. Um, and Kenner Toys, being in Cincinnati, was able to look right out their window and see this beautiful building. And they thought, hey, what a great idea for a Justice League layer. So, that building in Cincinnati has been immortalized forever in the Super Friends cartoon, but also the Superpowers action figure line. Now, most of the Superpowers figures were available at retail on traditional card and bubble packaging, except these guys right here. So Clark Kent was actually the only mail-away version Superpowers figure that you had to mail away for, and they would send you to uh, send him back to you in a little white mailer box. But uh, he's also the only non-superhero um, figure of the bunch. They didn't make a Lois Lane or anything like that. Uh, so kind of cool. He's one of the most unique figures of the line for sure. Now, here's three of my original carded, unopened Superpowers Supermen, uh, including one that's been graded by the Action Figure Authority, graded in AFA 80. Um, I tried to keep just a few. At one point, I had eight of these, uh, but I tried to keep just different versions. This one has the sticker for the free Clark Kins that we talked about. This one's a Canadian card back. This one's a more traditional uh, American card back with the fan club offer. Um, so they all have little, little variations, but something fun to chase if you don't have one or the other. I've always thought these were cool toys here. The Superman Bop Bags. Uh, they made several different varieties, but I kept the ones in here that have the Superpowers logo um, somewhere on them. But really neat little pieces. Uh, maybe you can remember as a kid whacking the crap out of these. Another rare little piece of Superpowers merchandise. This was actually made by Nerf. So they were Nerf Wrist Flyers. Superpowers wrist flyers, and they were essentially just little foam gliders. So Superpowers produced two very similar vehicles, one for Superman and one for Lex Luthor, and that was the Supermobile, which was adapted from a 1970s comic book story. Uh, and then, of course, the Lexor, which I believe was an original idea from the line. Now, the Lexor makes sense why Lex Luthor might need a kryptonite-powered craft to take on Superman, but the Supermobile... I think that had us all scratching our heads. So I've actually got a pretty fun story about this unsuspecting duffel back here. So several years ago, I was at the Chicago Toy Show and I'm walking around looking for Superman stuff and somebody is unloading their shelves uh, and they're pulling the legs of their shelving for the day outside of this bag. And I said, hey, that bag's really cool. I've never seen it before. Is it for sale? And they said, no, I just use this to kind of carry the parts and pieces and uh, uh, pieces to the shelves to put up to sell the other stuff. And I said, well, what if I make you an offer you can't refuse? And I did. And next thing you know, back came home with me. All right, guys, you did it. You hung until the end of the video. And now I'm going to show you the best piece of my superpowers collection. So check this beauty out. This is an original store display store header 
for the Super Powers action figure line. So this guy would sit above the rack um, or the shelf displaying all the action figures for sale. Um, beautiful, beautiful rare piece. I bought this at a toy show. A good friend of mine uh, had it and sold it to me for a really good deal. One in much better shape than mine. Um, just sold at the Hakes Auction House for $15,700. Again, this one's nowhere near that. Um, that kind of speaks to the rarity of a piece like this.